Uh, we uh, want to find out which uh, for the function 3 sin theta plus 4 cos theta which of these is true. Now uh, I would want all of us to know one uh, nice result from the world of mathematics that uh, anything of the structure a sin theta plus b cos theta can be written as a single sin or if you wish as a single cosine function and uh, then its value can be found out maximum or minimum value can be found out very easily. So it so turns out that the maximum value of this function is a square plus b square under root and minimum value is as much but negative. Minimum value is minus a square plus b square under root. So 3 square plus 4 square under root being 5 minimum value is minus 5. So if you know that result immediately you can tick off option 2 as your answer. How do we get this? Well there are several ways of doing this. Uh, one way would be to use, so I will show it to you here the trigonometry way of doing it. a sin theta plus b cos theta can be written as we divide and we multiply by a square plus b square under root a square plus b square under root. So here I am multiplying first a square plus b square under root and then I divide by the same here. So I get a upon under root of a square plus b square under root multiplied by sin theta plus b divided by under root of a square plus b square multiplied by cos theta. So far so good. Now if you think about it a and b are some numbers for example in our question they are 3 and 4 they can be any other values but whatever those numbers are it is clear that a square plus b square under root is always greater than a it is also always greater than b. This is so because a squares under root alone is greater than a. So with b squares uh, help added to it, its value will definitely be greater than a and similarly a square plus b square will be greater than b. So you will agree that this number is less than 1, this entire number is less than 1, less than 1 and this number is also less than 1. Now any number which is less than 1 can be written as sin or cos of some number. So uh, I will like to write this for example as say cos phi. So I write it like this a square plus b square. That means if you go through the trigo tables you will find some angle phi whose cosine will be this number less than 1. So I write it as cos phi. So I have got cos phi sin theta. I'll write it the other way around sin theta cos phi. Now if this is cos phi, this one, okay, another color. If this is cos phi, this circled part, then this can be written as sin phi. How? Well, for one, it is less than one and 2 this square plus this square is 1 as is the case with cos square phi plus sin square phi and so we can uh, write this as sin phi so I write the second part cos theta sin phi. Now read the inside sin theta cos phi plus cos theta sin phi that is your favorite trigo formula if you know it is sin theta plus phi. So I have successfully written it down as a single sine function whose magnitude is this and the depending theta is variable, phi is a particular number which is constant. So as theta varies this function varies and it oscillates from minus 1 to plus 1. Multiplying by this, its maximum value will be a square plus b square under root and minimum value will be minus of a square plus b square under root. In our case, 
it will be minus 5 because 3 square plus 4 square under root is 5 and so it has a minimum value of minus 5 is the answer. Other ways of solving this question is use calculus to minimize this or maximize this. So since the query is on minimum and maximum you can use calculus and the third way of doing it would be to add it by using vectors. Uh, that is since uh, this is a sinusoidal function so it can be written down as a um, phasor rotating vector phasor whose magnitude is a the other vectors magnitude is b so the phasors magnitude is a square plus b square under root and as the phasor rotates like this and its projection is taken let's say on the x axis so when the phasor is flat like this the projection is maximum when the phasor is the other way around projection is minimum and its value is minus a square plus b square under root either any of these three ways you could employ and arrive at answer uh, option of option 2.